Hello gamers and gamettes. Welcome to my laboratory where safety is number one priority. Today we're going to be discussing lab safety. Without further ado, let's start by looking at some safety symbols that you may see in the laboratory. The first safety symbol we will look at is the flammability symbol. The flammability symbol represents the fact that the chemical is easily flammable, as the name implies. Chemicals marked as flammable should be kept away from heat, sparks, or open flames. When handling a flammable chemical, it's good to wear eye protection just to be sure. You never know. The next symbol we will be looking at is the oxidizing yeah. symbol. Chemicals marked as oxidizing can provide oxygen. Oxygen, as you may know, is used in combustion reactions, so it's good to keep these away from flammable chemicals. <coughs> A corrosive chemical can burn through almost anything. That includes human skin or most materials. When handling corrosive chemicals, it's good to wear safety equipment that's marked as non-corrosive. Some corrosive chemicals include strong acids and bases. The last symbol is the toxic symbol. Toxic chemicals can hurt you to even a fatal degree if they are touched, swallowed, or inhaled sometimes. When handling a toxic chemical, make sure to use eye protection, gloves, an apron, or any other protective gear you can get your hands on. There are more chemicals, but I have to keep this video under 10 minutes, so let's move on. Let's look at some safety equipment you may use in the lab. Starting with the fume hood. The fume hood is a controlled environment in which one can work with harmful or toxic chemicals without contaminating the laboratory environment. It's very useful and you'll probably use it a lot throughout different labs. And then I, I put a winking smiley face in the script, but I don't really know how to verbalize that. So like, I don't know. The safety shower is like a shower, except for safety. The safety shower is a shower for use in emergency situations, such as when you've been coated in a possibly harmful chemical and you need to get it off quickly. It's pretty self-explanatory. You get coated in acid, bam, so much water, that acid won't even know what neutralized it. <laughs> that was bad, I'm sorry. Man, I broke my chemistry character. The eyewash station is absolutely the craziest piece of safety equipment in the lab. It's for if you get a chemical in your eyes, which will hurt already, but you need to get it out. So, you, you hold your eyes open and like, usually they use like a pedal so you don't have to touch it because you have to hold your eyes open and then it blasts water into your eyes to get the chemical out. Um, hopefully your eyes will be okay afterwards. But um, I can't really read this in my chemistry character voice. Like I can't read this deadpan. Protective gear is the heart and soul of the chemistry laboratory, and by that I mean if you don't wear it you may lose your heart and soul. Some protective gear you may use in the laboratory may include Gloves for protecting your hands against glass shards or any harmful chemicals. Goggles for protecting your eyes against harmful chemicals or seeing how close the deadline for your final project is. Face masks for protecting your lungs and mouth from any harmful chemicals you may inhale in the laboratory. Aprons for protecting your torso from hazardous chemicals or enemy attacks. Thank you for watching this educational chemistry video. I hope it helped you as much as it helped you.